In A Song of Ice and Fire, Cold Hands is a strange, mysterious figure with connections to the Three-Eyed Crow, the Children of the Forest, the Night's Watch, and the others. Who is he, and what is he? Let's have a look. In Book 3, Sam and Gilly are attacked by whites north of the Wall. They're saved by a thin, gaunt man who wears black clothes, rides a giant elk, and uses a huge group of ravens to fight whites, kinda like in that Hitchcock movie. He never gives a name, but Sam calls him Cold Hands for his cold, black hands. Cold Hands takes Sam and Gilly south to the abandoned night fort on the wall, and we learn that he's been sent by the Three-Eyed Crow to fetch Bran Stark. So in Dance, Cold Hands leads Bran, Hodor, Mira, and Jojen to the Three-Eyed Crow, far in the north. During this journey, Mira gets really suspicious of Cold Hands, because he never really explains who he is and what's going on. He hides his face behind a scarf and a hood, He's also dead. He doesn't eat or breathe or seem to sleep. His heart doesn't beat. Cold Hands is a lot like a white, the zombies controlled by white walkers. They're both described as dead things, pale, with cold black hands. They're unable to cross certain magical wards, they don't seem to feel cold, and Cold Hands fears fire, which we know kills whites. But in other ways, Cold Hands is very different to a white. Whites have bright blue eyes, but he has black eyes. Whites are slow and clumsy, but he's agile. Whites don't talk, but Cold Hands speaks in a rattling voice, with intelligence, even hints of emotion. Whites seem to have lost their humanity, but Cold Hands still seems to be a person. And while whites work for white walkers, Cold Hands serves the Three-Eyed Crow. So the Three-Eyed Crow is actually Brynden Rivers, or Blood Raven, a Targaryen bastard, ex-lord commander of the Night's Watch, a dreamer, wizard, greenseer, and 125-year-old man, apparently kept alive by his connection to the Weirwoods and the magic of the Old Gods. Bloodraven's goals and motivations are shady and unclear, but he mostly seems to hang out with the children of the forest, watch the world through the eyes of Weirwood trees, skin change into ravens, manipulate events from afar, you know, standard psychic tree man shit. Some people think that Bloodraven controls cold hands by skin changing into him, like Bran controls Hodor, which might happen sometimes, but surely not all of the time. Cold Hands does seem to exist as his own person. So what keeps this corpse walking? Cold Hands seems to be connected to the Old Gods. Like the Greenseers of the Children of the Forest, he has power over animals. He keeps a group of ravens to scout and fight for him, and he can speak with them, understand their quarks and squawks. He rides a giant elk, and when it dies, Cold Hands performs a little ritual for it, murmuring a blessing in some strange tongue as he slits its throat. Maybe it's the magic of the old gods that animates Cold Hands. We've seen zombies of ice, zombies of fire, zombies of stone, zombies of necromantic science. Why not zombies of nature, of the old gods? Maybe, just as the others resurrect whites with ice magic, and Thoros resurrects Beric with fire magic, Blood Raven resurrects Cold Hands with nature magic. Cold Hands is just another kind of zombie. So that may explain what Cold Hands is. The next question is who Cold Hands is, or who he was before his resumed resurrection. His identity does seem to be important because Mira keeps asking about it, and Cold Hands refuses to show his face or say his real name. So who could he be? Cold Hands seems to have been a brother of the Night's Watch. He calls Sam brother and wears black, though, as Mira points out, anyone can put on a black cloak, so it's not certain that he was with the Watch. Either way, for a while, a popular theory was that Cold Hands is Benjen Stark, Ned's brother, who went beyond the wall in Book 1 and never came back. Maybe Benjen was killed by White Walkers and later resurrected by Bloodraven as Cold Hands. It was a pretty good idea, but earlier this year, Reddit user Honeybird checked out the original manuscript of Dance with Dragons and found a note from George Martin saying that Cold Hands is not Benjen. So there goes that idea. Other possible Watchmen include Will and Waymar Royce, black brothers killed in the prologue of Book 1. This is kind of trickier, because we know Waymar and probably Will were turned into whites by the others, so for one of them to be Cold Hands, Bloodraven or someone must have somehow restored their mind after they were zombified, which is not something we've ever seen happen, so it seems unlikely that Cold Hands is Will or Waymar. Cold Hands was apparently killed long ago, and we're told this by a 200-year-old child of the forest, so Cold Hands probably died years and years ago. One cool idea is that Cold Hands is Sir Duncan the Tall, the protagonist of the Dunk and Egg novellas set almost 100 years before the main series. Dunk had a relationship with Bloodraven. He meets him at the end of the Mystery Night and escorted him to the Wall when Bloodraven joined the Watch. Maybe Dunk joined the Watch himself, was killed beyond the Wall, and became Cold Hands. 
There's no real evidence for this though, and certain facts don't fit. Like, Dunk is really tall, and Coltans apparently isn't. Dunk seems to have died at Summerhall, not beyond the wall. And if Dunk joined the Watch, we'd have probably heard about it. So that one probably isn't true either. Another theory takes us much further back, and links Coltans to the legendary Knights King, a Lord Commander from 8,000 years ago who apparently married an other, or a white. This would explain how Coltans knows about the Black Gate. The Knights King ruled at the Night Fort and may have used the Black Gate for secret sacrifices. But there are a few reasons why this theory doesn't fit either. Firstly, the Knights King was apparently cast down by the Wildlings and the Starks, but Coltans was apparently killed by the others. Even if the Wildlings and Starks let the Knights King live, which would be weird because they apparently obliterated his very name from memory, why would the others kill the Knights King? He'd apparently been making sacrifices to them. And even if they did, that doesn't explain why the Night's King would survive as a sentient white for 8,000 years, or why he'd end up working for Bloodraven, or why he'd have power over animals, or anything really. And 8,000 years is a long ass time. Could a body and mind survive that long? We are told that cold preserves, but if Cold Hands is so ancient, it seems weird that he's never described as such. From the way he speaks and moves and fights, he seems pretty bloody sprightly for an 8,000 year old corpse. George Martin has implied that the Night's King has not survived to the present day, so overall, it seems unlikely that Cold Hands is the Night's King. One more theory is that Cold Hands is a descendant of the Night's King and his blue-eyed bride. Human other hybrids have been hinted to exist, but Cold Hands doesn't really seem like he's part other. Others are strange, beautiful creatures, a different sort of life, but Cold Hands is just a dead man. He hasn't got blue eyes, or an icy sword, or really any special features of the White Walkers. Even if he is some hybrid, that doesn't really explain why his mind survives his death. Besides, the Night's King's bride seems more like a white than an other, and can you imagine a zombie giving birth to cold hands? Would you want to? There's all sorts of spooky magic shit you could speculate, but at the end of the day, there's just no strong evidence for this stuff. So there are lots of really interesting possibilities here, but none of them are all that convincing. It's tempting to conclude that Coltans isn't anyone special at all, just some random Night's Watchman who was killed by the others, then resurrected by Bloodraven. But if that's the case, why does Coltans hide his face? Why do the books keep drawing our attention to the mystery of his identity? It really seems like there's something going on here, but for now, we simply don't have the answers. We don't know who Coltans is, but we can make a pretty good guess at what he is. He may be a Night's Watchman who was killed by the others, then was reanimated with the magic of the old gods, probably by Bloodraven and the Children of the Forest. Whoever and whatever he is, Coltans is a really cool character, so hopefully we'll see more of him when Winds of Winter finally comes. Thanks for watching. This video was made with the support of patrons on Patreon, including Vineyard Dog, Szynka Petrovsky, Bobak Sharifian, Sarah Galotta, Podri Sanchez, Megals Ruth, Sam Spendlove, Daniel Abdullah, Aidan Kenny, Mike C, Hazza, Franz, Punked, and Gregory Wolf II. For updates, early access, and other perks, you can support this channel at patreon.com slash altshiftx. Cheers.